Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Kid, man. I'm back to y'all with another video. As I can tell, I'm tired, man. I'm about to go ahead and react to it. I'm going to do another weather reaction for y'all, man. I ain't done a weather reaction in a minute. I've covered a lot of weather, man. A lot of scenarios, you know what I'm saying? I've covered some tsunamis. But, um, but yeah, this is going to be a mix of just... Yeah, it's called 25 Minutes of Extreme National Disaster. This is going to be a mix of just different things, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, man. Um, this video is kind of long. It's about 25 minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this. Uh, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But uh, make sure you subscribe to the second channel, the Dig Fam. I'm gonna put it, put the link in the description box, man, so y'all can go ahead and uh, go subscribe, bro. But um, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and get to the video. And make sure you hit that post notification button, bro. See, I know when y'all see, I know when your boy posts, man. But uh, but yeah, man, I kept saying I'm gonna definitely get more into these uh, I'm gonna definitely get more into these uh. Weather reactions, man. Get back to them. Man. I've been doing a lot. I used to do a lot of them all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm definitely get back into them. I know y'all like the weather reactions. So we're going to get back into them. But, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this motherfucking video. just the last 20 years, setting a trend that scientists seem to believe will continue. From an enormous glacier collapsing into the frozen water below, to a monstrous volcanic eruption caught on camera from a nearby sailboat, here are 25 minutes of extreme natural disasters. Yes, sir. In the Indian state of Telangana lies the city of Hyderabad. It is the largest city in the state and has a history that dates all the way back to 1591. The city has a tropical wet and dry climate, meaning they get a lot of rain each and every year. On April 20th, 2019, a powerful storm began forming in the area. Typically, their rainy season doesn't begin until June, mm. but a storm like this isn't totally out of the ordinary. At first, the storm was no different than any other. Rain, wind, the normal things you'd expect. This looks crazy. This might be crazy. However, for this to change and for things to get much more severe, this is exactly when a group that of people about to come inside off, the Suda Car Museum began filming the power of my roof like it's about to come smooth off around them. Maybe we'll get get the cover or something. But that shit about to come smooth off, bro. <laughs> But this shit better come smooth off. Despite their severity, thunderstorms are one of the most underestimated weather phenomena in the world. At least until they decide to unleash their fury on the I'm about to say thunderstorms are pretty unpredictable. unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. What many people forget is that they are also one of the natural disasters that produce more deaths on our planet, surpassing even tornadoes and hurricanes. From being electrocuted by lightning to being hit in the head with a large piece of hail, the possibilities are endless. Thankfully for the people in this video, this wasn't the case. Despite the severity of the storm, everybody survived uninjured. Hmm. The country of Italy is home to many volcanoes, both active and inactive. The main ones that are currently active are oh, Edna, eruption. Vesuvius, and Stromboli. Located in the Aeolian Islands, Stromboli has been basically constantly active for the last two to five thousand years, with its second most recent eruption occurring back on July 3rd, 2019. On this day, a group of people were out sailing on a yacht when they managed to capture this incredible moment on film. The sky was bright blue and a bit of smoke could be seen escaping from the volcano. But, just as the camera zooms in, the volcano 
erupts, sending a dark cloud shooting into the sky. What about saying? I gotta see some live footage of that. Are those people down there to the left? It looks like it's people down there to the left. After this video was published online, it quickly grew in popularity given that it is one of only a few videos that show this unexpected eruption as it occurred in real time. Due to how remote the island is, this eruption thankfully did not threaten any cities or towns. That's good, that's good. But one hiker on the island did end up losing his life, and six more were injured. Damn. Nearly two months later, another eruption occurred. Sending pyroclastic flows tumbling wait, down wait. the mountain. People be hiking Since on volcanoes? Then, the volcano that's, has remained mostly quiet. Too risky, I'm sorry. That's way too risky. <laughs> that's way too risky. When you think of natural disasters or extreme weather, one of the first things that probably comes to mind are tornadoes. Tornadoes. Tornadoes most commonly. Like I said, I got I got plenty of tornado reactions, man. So I'm gonna check out check those out. Man. This area sees more tornadoes than anywhere else on earth. But that doesn't mean other places don't get them. A man in Czech Republic was filming a storm that was happening in his town. Initially, he was outside in his shed waiting for the rain to stop. As the weather became more severe, he began filming, only to realize that he was looking at a powerful tornado right in front of him. This tornado would later be classified as the strongest ever documented in modern Czech history. Well, see, it's right there in front of me, ain't it? That's it right there, ain't it? Hell nah, bro. <laughs> see, those be the worst places, bro. When they don't, when tornadoes happen in places they don't usually happen in, bro, people don't be knowing what to do, bro. I live in Woodbridge, VA, bro. If we had a, a cat, like a F four, F five tornado, bro, nobody would know what to do, bro. And plus, we have no nobody here at shelter, so yeah, it'd be pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. So is he gonna hit his house or something? Or? So they said this is the largest in Czech history. When did this happen though? I might have to look that up. The tornado hit with little warning and in a country that is not particularly known for them. It would soon be rated an F4 with wind gusts reaching as high as 260 Yo. miles per hour or 418 kilometers per hour. Damn, that shit got up to an F4? This rare and destructive storm Damn. Took the lives of six people. In the video, the tornado takes out a mobile network along with all nearby power. 
but thankfully does not head in the direction of the man filming. Damn, so that, damn, that was an F4, that's crazy. The island of Greenland is home to many unique and amazing places. It is here where you'll find the largest national park in the world, Northeast Greenland National Park, with a total area covering over 375,000 square miles. I just watched a movie called Greenland. 972,000 <laughs> square kilometers. Given how far north the island is located, it should be no surprise that out, to know that most bro. of it Greenland. is That's covered in ice and glaciers. It's pretty new. One look at a map will tell you all you need. Because of the limited amount of land, most of the population lives on the southwest coast. Back in April of 2021, a group of people were exploring the Helheim Glacier near the southeastern coast. The glacier is located in a pretty remote area, and one that is not easy to get to. Right before they begin filming, something happened, and a rumble could be heard off in the distance. With little warning, a huge chunk of the glacier collapsed into the water in one of the most spectacular calvings ever caught on film. Damn, that's a big ass glacier too. Isn't that what that Titanic that's what the Titanic hit, right? When it uh when it sunk hit a glacier, right? That shit crazy. Y'all ever seen Titanic? I never. I've, I've watched it before, bro. But that's a long ass movie. Okay. No cap. Yeah. And it is crazy. Look at it. That's probably this, some shit like this. Be some wild shit to see in person. I'm not gonna lie. I'm confused now. Is it over? This lace of falling slow shit. <laughs> I feel like Greenland would probably be a pretty cool place to go to, though. That's some real shit, though. Seems like a nice little, seems like a nice hiking spot. Here 
a bone chilling minus 69 degrees Celsius or minus 93 degrees Fahrenheit. As our temperatures fluctuate, it's likely we will see much more of this ice continue to melt and break apart. Ooh, Thankfully, bro. we have videos mm -hmm. like this. I ain't gonna lie, it takes a lot for me to get cold, but that right there is insane, bro. Minus 69 degrees. On February 6th, 2016, the State Meteorological Agency of Ireland began to notice some activity forming over the sea. What they were witnessing was soon named Storm Imogen. Imogen. This wasn't a particularly bad storm, considering top wind speeds only reached 96 miles per hour, but it was still able to cause over $80 million in damages. Damn. Passengers on board an Irish ferry managed to capture what this storm was like on film. Unlike other shipping storms that we featured on this channel, this video shows what is happening inside the ship, and the results are more extreme than you might expect. My boy went flying. The ship is a ship tilting. Yeah. That nigga back was flying a lot. I'm sorry, bro. That shit not funny, bro. But that dude went flying, bro. Bro, this is exactly why I don't want to be on ships, bro. I can't do ships, bro. Mm -mm. I've been on one cruise, bro. But I was even... I was low-key uncomfortable on that shit, bro. I've been on a cruise to Bahamas, bro. But that shit was low-key uncomfortable. The ship okay. gets tossed around like a rag doll, with some passengers even seen falling and sliding along the ground. The effect a storm has on a ship is always more extreme when the ship is smaller. Had this been a large cruise liner, then things likely would have been slightly more stable. Thankfully, this ferry managed to sail through the storm and return back to port with everybody on board uninjured. Hurricanes are one of the most destructive natural disasters that occur oh God, on the planet. Oh Thanks to their massive size, they've produced hundreds of billions of dollars in damage just over the last five years alone. Scientists predict that the power of hurricanes is going to continue to grow, meaning the devastation will likely get more severe. Damn. One of the most destructive elements of a hurricane is the wind. The intensity of the storm is to make more severe than Katrina. Katrina is pretty bad. From a 1 to a 5 on the Saffir-Simpson scale. This next video was shot in Cedar Rapids, Iowa on August 10th, 2020. While it's not exactly a hurricane What's you're seeing, it's included because of the hurricane force winds, with gusts being measured as high as 142 miles or 230 kilometers per hour. That flag about to go, but
I ain't gonna lie, these nachos just ain't really been that bad. I think the worst one's probably the F for tornado. That might have been the worst. But all these other ones ain't been too bad, for real. If you look closely at the screen for a brief moment, you actually even see a deer. I'm about to say, I thought I seen a deer. Seemingly spooked by the storm and unsure where to go. Yeah, what I thought I see that. <laughs> was actually a derecho, a long-lived and widespread straight-line windstorm. Derecho, what the hell is derecho? Many severe thunderstorms. The one in this video was responsible for spawning over 25 tornadoes five fatalities and over 11 billion dollars in damage 25 Thankfully, tornadoes nobody in the video we showed you was injured hmm. hail storms are an event that we have oh, featured shit. many times on this channel the power that they have cannot be understated able to come about with little notice these falling balls of ice are comparable to rocks falling from the sky able to cause severe injury, break glass, and cause endless amounts of damage to buildings and vehicles. Mm. More often than not, however, hailstorms aren't all that severe. It really depends on where you live. In areas such as the Midwestern United States, the storms are often more severe than somewhere such as the Northeast, where events such as tornadoes seldom occur. That's what makes this freak storm in Germany all the more interesting. The video was shot in the Marienburg Mountains back in 2013 and captures a hailstorm that comes with little warning and produces golf ball sized hail. Golf ball. That's a big ass hail. You hear that shit. You gotta hear that shit? Yeah, man. That is some big ass hail, bro. I've been in the hellstorm before, bro, but the hellstorm hells aren't this big at all. Yeah, that's insane. That's this is these are the type that can like break your windshield and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. That's insane, bro. Mm. I get a little stretch real quick. Mm. <laughs> That's wild, bro. It looks like snow now.
I feel like snow. Man. It's still coming down. After the initial burst of large stones, the size begins to shrink, but the quantity increases. Soon, yards and driveways are covered in ice, and the streak has turned into a river of it. The video abruptly ends while the storm is still ongoing, and there doesn't seem to be any more information online as to how much longer this went on for. This video is a great example of how quickly weather can turn severe. Yeah. And thankfully, there weren't any injuries. With each passing year, severe weather seems to get worse and worse. Wildfires, tornadoes, hurricanes, and more all impact our planet. And it's likely that we will see many more moments like these being caught on film. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the yeah, link. Yeah, I like this channel. I'm gonna check out more videos in this channel. That, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next this time. a cool video. Well, I'm gonna go. This video was a, it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. But but um it was still dope though. Yeah, it was still dope. What's the name? Um I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I think the worst one was probably the F4 tornado. That might have been the worst one out of all those natural disasters for real. Y'all let me know in the comments, bro, which y'all think which I think was the worst one. I think we all would agree though that the, the F4 tornado in Czech Republic was probably the worst one, I'm not gonna lie. But at least it was pretty cool to see like see that collapsing and the they were yeah, the hurricane that was only like 96 miles per hour, but that shit still did like over 80 million dollars in damage. That's crazy. Uh and yeah, and then that last, that hellstone was crazy. That was probably the coolest one to see for sure. The hellstone was wild, bro. I'm never, I've only been in, hell, like I said before, I went, yeah, I've only been in one hellstone before, bro. But it wasn't that bad. It was little, like, it was just for little. It wasn't that bad, but what's the name? But, um, but yeah, definitely gonna get, definitely get more into these weather reactions, man. Um, get back, back get back into them, I mean. Um, but, uh, but yeah, man. Cause now, you know, make them more busy now, you know what I'm saying? Now, now we got this channel. I mean, I still got this channel I'm doing videos on, of course, and then got the second channel that we started too. So definitely gonna be putting in work on that channel too. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. And um, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all next video, man. Uh, before I leave though, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, bro, and hit that post notifications button. And I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.